Hi everyone, it's Marcy here, um, live with you today on uh, Thursday, July the 12th. Um, I'm a few seconds late. I've been trying to uh, get set up here without too many shadows. Let me just see if I've come on my iPad here. Oh, better turn that volume down. Okay, so today I am going to be creating this um, card with you that I had all set up for last Thursday, but um, Lola had other plans. Uh, my little Lola, uh, she uh, is 14 years old and she had a grand mal seizure so it kind of threw my day for a loop, uh, to say the least. Um, she went to the vet and she is okay. The vet does not know why she had the seizure, but um, we've got some medication in case it happens again. And if it happens within twice within a 24 hour time frame, then um, we have to get her back in there again. But she seems to be fine. She was out of sorts for a little bit but she is uh she is good so uh anyhow this is the stamp set here healing hugs uh it is a gorgeous stamp set um from stampin up so it is a more of a photo realistic um if you take a look at the stamp itself you can see i can see the little fluffies i don't know if that's martial hair let me get my chamois here and there um it's very very fine lines in it that uh, make the image look so much more real so this is uh this is the way it stamps. I've stamped off with this one. And we're also going to be using the tufted, the tufted um, dynamic, 3D dynamic embossing folder. I love this. This was at the top of my wish list. So um, yeah. So let's get started. My colors are mint macaron is my base. And then Tranquil Tide is uh, the other layer in there. And the flower color is Mango Melody. So to create this, what I have done, get some cardstock in here. Hi, Marilyn, thanks for popping in. Turn your volume down so that they don't know at work that you are uh, checking me out. Okay, so. So I'm going to ink up my pad, my stamp here, and I don't want it super dark, so what I have done is stamped off once, stamped off twice, so that I have a very light amount of the um, ink color on it and I'm going to take my sponge dauber I love these little things and I'm going to on the side of the dauber I'm going to dip it into my ink and I am just going to go around the edges of the flower petal just like this to add a bit more of that depth of color because I know some of my flowers are not, they're not all the same shade. They've got um, a variation. So you just go around and where those petals would be curling, you're going to just add that little bit of ink. And then I turn my stamp so that I can see it where I have added the ink. A 
Okay, that should be good. And then I'm going to breathe on it or huff on it to re-moisten that and then stamp. So that is the image that you get when you have um, stamped off twice and then you can see the darker areas where I have taken that sponge. So I'm gonna set this aside, close this up because I'm done with it now and I certainly don't want to uh, get my fingers in there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves here. It's uh, two leaves and you can see the one is darker than the other. So I am going to stamp first in Mint Macron. And then I will um, come in with my Tranquil Tide. So I've inked up the Mint Macron. I'm only going to stamp that off once. Set that aside. Come in with my sponge dauber again. And just go around the outside, giving it a little bit of definition. Please, when you stop in, uh, tell me where you're from. Share my video. I would love that if you would uh, be so kind as to share my video. Uh, that is how I reach more people and gain more customers and team members. And I absolutely love getting new team members. I'm going to breathe on that and stamp down. And there you have it. You can see that you can see this one here is lighter because of the way the stamp is, and this one's a little darker with a bit of that mint macaron in the center. So I am not going to fussy cut this out um, right now for you because that would be like watching paint dry. I don't want to put you through that pain. So I have already, ahead of time, stamped and fussy cut my flower and two sets of petals. So that way I'm ready to go. And then I'm going to um, bring in my big shot right behind me here. Now, because this is a 3D dynamic embossing folder, Stampin' Up! recommends that you mist it with water first. It helps to soften those uh, fibers in the cardstock so that you get a deeper impression. So this is a Stampin' Spritzer from Stampin' Up! And I just have water in it. So I'm going to go over here so I'm not going to spray my iPad or my phone or anything. And I'm just going to give it a very light mist. I've held the cardstock a good 12 inches so there's just a smidge of water on there but I've held it a good 12 inches away from my uh, the spritzer away from my cardstock because you don't want it soaking wet and I'm gonna line that up at the top and close it down make sure that it looks like it's centered and because it is a 3D, 3D dynamic, you only need the um, platform and the one um, clear cutting plate. And you always put the seam in going first so that you don't um, warp or break your embossing folder. Okay. I'm trying to do it without shaking my table too much. And there you have it. How gorgeous is that? 
It looks like one of those fancy pillows or those stuffed couches. So you could use uh, the debossed side or this side here, whichever you feel would be more appropriate for your project. So I'm just gonna take this and put it over here. So then to line, to uh, create my uh, card, I'm going to take my already cut and scored cardstock, bring in my bone folder, and burnish very well, just like that. And then I'm going to take my favorite adhesive, my uh, Tombow liquid glue, and I've got my layers here cut and ready to go. So it's just a layer of your regular Whisper White and then the layer of the um, Tranquil Tide. Tranquil Tide is last year's in color. And then just put that. You don't need a ton. And I like my Tombow because it gives me a few seconds more to get that lined up. Because um, sometimes you don't always stick it down straight. And I find other adhesives aren't quite so forgiving if you're a little crooked. And I don't always stick it down straight. And I hate to... Uh, wreck my project by trying to peel it up. Whereas the liquid glue gives you that few extra seconds to manipulate it. So because this is an embossing folder, the top layer, and it is not smooth, I like to flip it upside down and rub on the back so that I make sure that the adhesive has moved all around. Just like that. So now I know that that is secured down. I'm going to put a bit on the sides here like this. Bring in my base. Center it. Just like that. Okay. Now for my sentiment, I am going to bring my Tranquil Tide back in. And stamp sending you healing vibes now sometimes you find that it's hard to line up your sentiments um, to make sure they're straight so what i like to do is i like to use my grid paper and i line up that edge of the clear block on a grid line and then i take so that, that way i know that it is straight then i whichever word is at the top and is easiest to see through, I try to make sure that that is lined up on those grid lines. So that way, I'm fairly confident that I am going to be stamping that straight. So I know that if I come in and I line this up with the top of the grid line, that it should be fairly straight. I mean, it doesn't always work out, but for the most part, it does. So I'm just going to stamp that there. I did pretty good on that one. I had just in case I had another one cut and ready to go, but I like that. I think that uh, I stamped that pretty well. So 
after I'm done creating, I have some things to share with you. Um, some Stampin' Up! news and promotions that are happening right now. And the big uh, exciting family event that happened for us this past weekend. My son's wedding. Um, I have a few of the items that I'd been working on all uh, winter and spring for the wedding I want to share with you. So, there's my sentiment. Now I'm going to take my silicone craft sheet. I love this thing. I think it is fabulous and a real necessity. So I take my flower image, make sure I'm up in the screen here for you to see, and I, before I adhere anything, I lay my flower down to see whereabouts I think it's going to look good. And then I'm going to take some glue and slide that leaf underneath there and glue on this leaf here. and just slide that there. So I know that I like the way that is going to look. So I uh, am confident in putting that like that. So I'm gonna just flip that over and I want some dimensionals on the back here. I don't want my leaves falling down. So I'm just going to put one on each leaf. My hands are warm today. It's a warm day, so their dimensionals here are sticking quite a bit. There. So I'm gonna come in with my base and flip this over. I don't want that sticking quite so soon, so put that back on. And then decide whereabouts on my card front I want that to be. I think that's good. So first I'm going to put some glue on my sentiment. And just tuck that there. And then I'll peel the backing. <clears throat> These things get everywhere. I find them absolutely all throughout the house. They're quite staticky. There we go. And I want it tucked just like that. Okay, now we are not quite done with this card. This flower needs a little bit of my Wink of Stella. So I am going to just go around where those petals would curl and add just a very fine very fine line so it's subtle and then I turn it so that I can see where my Wink of Stella is. And where it needs to go. And 
when you put the Wink of Stella on, it really brings those deeper tones to life. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yes, beautiful card. I'm ready for um, somebody who is under the weather. I'm ready to send them a smile in the mail. And who doesn't like happy mail? Okay, so a couple promotions that are going on right now. We have the, uh, when you join the Stampin' Up! family, you get to pick an entire ink pad color family. So you get 10 ink pads in whichever color family that you choose. Um, it's uh, a $92.50 value. So um, you pay $135. You choose $165 worth of product. And you also get the ink pad. You choose your color family of ink pads. Um, there is no tax or shipping in Ontario on this. I just welcomed a new team member last week. Um, I uh, happily um, welcomed Sue to our Sassy Stamping family. So that's that one there. It goes from uh, the 1st to the 31st of July. Our next one is uh, you'll have to uh, excuse the bit of crinkle. Um, Marshall got in here, Danielle's cat, and he loves paper. And I always have to wrestle with him to get it um, away from him because he just loves to eat it, lay on it, play with it. Yeah, so the uh, next one is the buy three, get one free uh, DSP or designer series paper. So your Nature's Poem, Twinkle Twinkle, Under the Mistletoe, Animal Expedition, Best Route, Petal Promenade, Tranquil Textures, Garden Impressions, Tropical Escape, and Wood Textures are all included in this. So you save yourself $15 by doing this. Um, get together with a friend if you don't think that you're going to use that much designer series paper. Um, Split it with a friend and you would each get a half a package, which would be fabulous. So that is also July 1st to 31st. Um, and you can uh, purchase in my online store if you go to www.stampinwithmarcy.com and click on the Shop Now button. It will take you directly to my online store. Or if you're wanting to join my team of Sassy Stampers, you would click on the get a discount button. So the next promotion for customers does not start until August 1st. But as a demonstrator, we are able to pre-order this now. So this is called Color Your Season is the, um, the products, what it's called. So the stamp set is Blended Seasons. And then the framelits are called Stitched Seasons and we're getting brand new watercolor pencils assortment too. So it's 10 pencils in um, new colors. We've got Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Knight of Navy. So there's those pencil crayons there. And you can probably see Flirty Flamingo and Granny Apple Green were used because the other night I had my Sassy Social. That's what uh, we call our team uh, meetings. A meeting is boring, where a social is way more fun. So um, my, my girls, we uh, played with this two uh, set stamps set. Um, it's all season so you've got your summer you've got some fall images and you've got Christmas a bell 
would could be for wedding. It's got some fabulous sentiments. It is red rubber. And then it's got the gorgeous, gorgeous stitched season framelits. So these um, shapes here, these labels, have the stitching on the inside and the outside. So when it gets die cut, bring the card in here and in my drawer, I can show you that. When it's die cut out, you can see that it has this fine um, stitching all around, but it also leaves the stitching on the outside of the card so that um, you can see it's got the two layers there. So the other um, framelits that we have always leave an indentation from the pressure from the uh, Big Shot machine die cutting it out. Well, with the stitching there, it uh, doesn't show that uh, indentation. It's just the stitching, which is gorgeous. It really does add to your card front. So we colored in our leaves and our flowers with the watercolor pencils and then used the blender pen to blend it in. And then, um, I don't know if you can see, of course I had to add a little bit of Winkostella to that. So this is, this is the um, framelits. So if you were to choose to join my Sassy Stampers family, this could be one of the $165 uh, product items that you choose um, to add to your starter kit to uh, add up. This is going to be, it is uh, for the clear amount, it's $88 for the bundle. So you could add that in to your uh, starter kit as part of your bundle and then add some paper um, as well. Um, to round out to go with your new ink pads. That would be a wise purchase. Now, please share my video. I always ask you to share. And I have a, um, I do a little draw for the person that um, has, one of the people that has shared. I always enter everybody's name. Last time I had six people share and I truly do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, I always have, I write everybody's name out and I have somebody else draw the name in my family and Danielle um, this past time drew and Carol is the one that won these um, adhesive back sequins. And I have Carol's address, so I will be mailing these out to her. And no, you don't have to be in Canada to um, win. Um, I will mail this to the United States or wherever. Uh, so this week's um, Share My Video prize is the a package of the doilies, the delicate white doilies. So this is what um, everybody who shares and comments on my news feed, on this feed here, that they have shared it. Their name will go into a draw, and um, I will uh, have somebody else in my house draw the winning name, and I will uh, announce it next Thursday, uh, whoever the winner is. So um, good luck to everybody. And if you are shopping in my online store, please use the July host code. Um, it allows me to uh, get extra little goodies to send to you as a thank you for shopping with me. I truly do appreciate that. And I forgot to pull this off. I've been talking about the incentive trip. I have been working very, very hard to earn the Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip for 2019. Um, as demonstrators, we have um, from October 1st to September 30th to uh, earn this incentive trip that is an all expenses paid trip for two people to a um, announced destination. 
Well, next year's trip is Greece. Um, it's the Greek Isles, and you um, can earn it. You need 160,000 flex points to earn it, and you get flex points by your sales, as well as by your team member, them advancing. So I would like to share with you that I am almost there. I am just shy of 130,000 flex points. Like I said, I've been working very, very hard to earn this trip. And I would so appreciate every single um, little order you place with me. You may don't have to be a crafter. Stampin' Up! sells paper scissors, fabulous envelopes, adhesives, anything that you could use for your office supplies. Um, there's many, many different products in our Stampin' Up! catalog store that you could uh, purchase and help me out. Um, next year, uh, Brad and I will be married 30 years, and this would be such a fabulous trip to take my amazing husband on. So um, I have just the rest of July, August, and September, so two and a half months left to meet my goal. So I would appreciate any and all support that um, you give me. So I'll put that aside. And then I want to share um, some fun things from the wedding. My eldest son, Damon, got married on Saturday. And I uh, was lucky enough to be asked to be to create a few things for the wedding. So I created these cute little um, table numbers from um, Retired Product. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I cannot use, or I should not use, I should say, a Retired Product in my class because customers can't purchase them any longer. So you don't want to be showing people fabulous things that they can't get their hands on. But I still do keep some of my retired items that I truly love for personal use. So this is some of the uh, personal use um, items. So this is the um, oh so succulent framelits from last year that retired. I loved these and the colors for the wedding were petal or sorry, powder pink and smoky slate. So, um, the flowers were the um, powder pink and the white, and I used some um, glitter um, paint to color them. My sister Anne tirelessly helped me. Uh, to my customer, she's also known as Vanna because she comes and helps me on uh, bingo nights. Um, she is Vanna and she showcases the prizes that the girls are going to be winning. And then you can see the sparkle on the numbers. This is also retired. This just retired the Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper. I really liked the um, this Glimmer Paper because it's got a bit more pink in it. So uh, I wanted to use that for my pots. So I had to, uh, I created 13 pots for the 13 tables. It wasn't a very big wedding. There was a hundred people in all. So, and look at this fun place uh, card holder. Uh, the wedding, we are a big golfing family. Four out of the five of us golf. Uh, Danielle is the only uh, one of my children that does not golf. Connor, my middle son, golfs competitively. Uh, so we created these golf balls that have a slit in them and then the uh, place card goes just inside and then they, Damon and Allie printed up everybody's name and stuck it on cardstock. I gave them the cardstock and they cut them down and put everybody's name on it. So that was super fun on all the tables because they had announced their engagement. They had their, their hands were holding the three golf balls with the um, 
date uh the it was the seventh uh seventh month seventh day um 18 was the uh what was written on the golf ball so we thought that having the golf ball place card holders would be uh really fun and tie it in together and now these are the favor boxes they are made out of the pizza boxes we covered them with a uh, powder pink cardstock and uh die cut or yeah, embossed the um silver foil sheets with the um layered leaves i believe it is uh um silver foil and then i heat embossed 107 of these uh vellum um with the silver the thank you for being part of our happily ever after and i used our gorgeous uh, white and silver trim ribbon and then opened them up and then ali's mom had gotten these doilies and put them inside with some chocolate so there was only 100 people at the wedding, but um, Allie and Damon wanted me to do 107 because Allie's family is from, her father's from South Africa, so she has a grandmother there who was unable to make that very, very long flight. And uh, she has other relatives there that were unable to um, make it overseas. And then she also has family in Australia that uh, was unable to attend. So we did extra boxes so that they could send them off to uh, their family so that they could feel like they were part of it. And they also live streamed in a private feed for the family members overseas that uh, couldn't uh, come. So it was a fabulous, fabulous day. And then they had this really fun photo booth. So, here I printed out the photos so here's me with my sisters um, of course our last one we had to do a funny face I'm not sure if you can see that very well my feed on my iPad is a few seconds um, delayed so yeah so here's Anne, Carol and I and we're standing in our birth order Anne's the oldest I'm the middle and Carol is the youngest and then here is Damon. Damon is there in the middle and uh, his uh, groomsman. So, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's Connor on the outside. And then Drew, my nephew, is was uh, the MC as well as in, in the wedding party. And then his friend Hector and his best friend David. So those the guys being silly. And then here is Brad's parents, Alan, Helen, with our three kids, Damon, Connor, Danielle, being a little silly as well. They are a silly family, that's for sure. Um, it was awesome that Brad's parents got up and did that. I just loved that. I was surprised when uh, Danielle pulled the photos out. And then, of course, Danielle and Connor, they are true goofballs. So... Uh, they uh, did these funny photos. And then here's Brad and I um, having some fun. It was so much fun. So much fun. So anyhow, that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I would love to help you out. Um, remember, if you're shopping in my online store, please use the host code. And please share my video. Um, I will be back again next week, next Thursday. So um, at 1 o'clock. So thank you so much for coming by today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.